I'm interested in going to college as it would allow me to pursue any sort of career I'd like. Also, these days it's very important to have good qualifications and a good degree behind you in order to get a job. That's just to kind of have a degree and uh, something backing you up to kind of go and get a job. I like to uh, learn about something that I'm interested in and get a job and earn money. Um, well, I found information to help my choices um, in the prospectuses for the, each of the colleges. I have got a lot of my information from the career guidance counsellor. I was able to organise meetings with her and my parents where she gave us lots of information regarding colleges and courses. Mm, the constant stress would definitely be the hardest thing about the Leaving Street year. Uh, having to balance studies and having a social life as well. One of the biggest challenges is keeping focused with all the study. Well, freedom is the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to and I'm not being so tied down in school and I can kind of, I don't have, I have the option not to go to lectures if I don't want and all this. My biggest fear is probably going into a course and hating it. Um, biggest fear is definitely be firstly leaving home and you know going somewhere unfamiliar and settling in. Probably again the big numbers will be one of the big fears you kind of get swallowed up in it all. I mean it is such a new experience that it'll be maybe difficult to settle in at first but hopefully over time that I'd be able to kind of get more accustomed to it and kind of change from being in a smaller class in second level to bigger, bigger numbers in third level. Right now uh, I have five assignments on the go and it's just getting them done to the best of my ability in the time that I have to do them. The academic challenges I face on a weekly basis are dealing with group projects. There's something I just can't cope with whatsoever. In college then you have a lot of group work, like most of our modules are group work, you're graded in a group. It's a great way to show what way it's going to be in the, in the working world that you have to work with people. It was a totally new thing, trying to work with other people and having patience. Definitely different having to rely on someone else to get your work done. The differences between secondary school and the FETAC and then third level I think is the responsibility to take initiative and learn yourself. It's very much up to yourself, um, it's independent learning. Studying college you don't really know where to start or when to stop. The volume of work can be as, as much or as little as you like. If you want to study in college it's your decision to do it. Yeah I think there is a big difference between the staff and student interactions. In college they're they treat you the same as them. Like in secondary school I kind of found like you're, I was terrified to come and talk to them. They kind of leave you to do your own thing really and it's, it's, it's not a one-to-one -one kind of basis. You don't, you don't know your lecturer doesn't know you. You don't interact with them every day. In secondary school getting an A or a B or above 70 was attainable whereas now the thought of a first is just something that you can work towards. As secondary school teachers you're changing teacher every 40 minutes and it's every single day. Whether in further education you get an hour plus with a teacher, getting to know them a lot more. I think after my first assessment that's when I figured out uh, well, that I was um, like on my own in this, that it was up to me. In most of our lectures, our lecturers told us what was expected of us. You know what you want at the end of it and from that you know what's expected of you. You kind of figure out, figure out what's expected pretty quickly when you've kind of got midterms rolling every four or five weeks. Um, apart from my studies, I would be involved in the student union. It helped out a lot getting us money, raising money for our jerseys for our fo football club. It's rag week actually this week so um, the students union do give us a lot of support. This year I've been involved in student mentoring which is just we're helping out first years again to integrate into college. Um, we try and help the new students as much to settle into social induction. In about the second week of college we were introduced to this PASS programme which stood for peer assisted study sessions. PASS was one of the best things that came out of first year because really it was second year students filling us in on their experiences the first year, you know, like PASS was about them kind of helping us along and it wasn't just about modules and economics and accounting, they actually taught us everything we needed to know about college life that like lecturers wouldn't really tell us, you know, how to mind ourselves and how to, where to go on a Thursday night and, you know, important things like that that made your experience so much worthwhile. The most enjoyable thing about first year was the whole experience. Uh, just kind of getting to know new people and getting involved in all these activities and events. Taking a step towards my future and the career that I want to pursue. Learning, like you're learning something new every single day. Realising that I can do it and that I've done it well and with a bit of help I can carry on and keep on going and get a career. The most enjoyable thing I found about my further education experience is meeting new people. Definitely getting involved in things outside of the course itself. If I had to start it over again, um, I'd probably join more societies. 
start studying a lot sooner than, than I would because you're going to fall behind pretty quickly and the lectures aren't going to be on your back about it. Like. If I was to start again, I definitely wouldn't do anything differently. I've loved the experience so far and it's worked out really, really well. I'd probably concentrate more on the academics than I did last year and just about scrape by. I probably would have taken part in more activities within the college. If I could give advice to someone filling out their CEO, to put what you really want first, even if you don't think you're going to get the point. Take your time. Really do what you're interested in, not just something that other, all your friends are doing, things like that, because in college you actually do really have to be interested in the course you're doing you're going to struggle you shouldn't really worry about points to a certain extent like put your dream course down first just research every course every different kind of university fc make sure it's the course you want to do they need to really think long and hard about what they want to do if you're thinking about coming to college you you know just research it make sure that you research it you figure out what the best option is for you and there's ways around everything there's back doors to everything